mighty hand. Hello, I'm Retro Jules. Well, update 4.2, tier 10 light tanks hit us overnight without any warning. And I remember back in the day, Wargaming would release the notes, the patch notes, a few days, sometimes even a week before such an update would happen. And then the YouTubers could make the videos. Everybody would have an idea what was coming. And had you known this time what was coming, you might well have started playing a few tanks just to try and get ahead of the game and get what you wanted. I don't know why Wargaming do this now. When the Swedish tanks came out, the actual update notes came out a day or two after the actual event. And that is why you never really saw anybody making a video of the new Swedish tank tech tree as such, because it was out and everybody knew it was out. So a little bit of a strange strategy, because I can't help thinking if you give people warning, if you let people know what's coming, it builds up a bit of tension, it builds up some excitement. I think that when the update actually becomes live, it's all the more rewarding. This was quite a big change in the update. I was on my PC, 10 o'clock one night, suddenly realised it was there, thought, oh, you are joking, I need to make a video of this now. So I was up till about half past two that morning, making a video for you guys to watch because I like to make the update videos. And as a result, I was absolutely knackered the next day and I didn't get to play tanks for a couple of days after that. In the meantime, the messages started coming in. Zapronoth 1968, he said, well, Retro, tier 10 lights are here. Not gonna lie, I have mixed feelings. I do really well in auto loaders, and one of my favorite lights, the Bulldog, is essentially gone. And to add insult to injury, there's no path to the T57 Heavy anymore. I suppose I'll get over it, but still. So I replied to that, not having seen the update yet. I am uncertain how the new lights fit in with mediums that already take on scouting roles, i.e. the Bat Chat, the Leopard. Like you, I am uncertain too, and have yet to see what carnage has been caused in my garage. And these messages were coming in, and I thought, do I really want to see what's happened? And then Kildikin comes in with a little sad face, and he says, what have they done to the ELC? It's like, oh no, what have they done to the pocket rocket? Have they changed that too? So finally, I went in to my garage and had a look at the carnage realized that the first thing I had to do was readdress my already existing light tanks that had changed tiers, reselect packages. I even had to rebuy some of the packages to get the tanks back to how I liked them. And there were a few buffs and nerfs, but nothing major. And when I looked at the ELC AMX, it only got a five kilometer an hour nerf. But when you play it, for some reason, it does feel sluggish. It is not the tank it used to be. So I think it's gonna go back with binoculars now and it's gonna end up being sort of the sniping tank destroyer role that it is also suited to, rather than dashing around being an active scout. I don't think it's quite that tank anymore. So I had a look at the tech trees and the tech trees actually look logical. If you're a light tank player and you want to play light tanks, you can now play light tanks right through to tier 10, a very logical progression. And the adjustments in the tech trees, I think are much more consistent now. It was, if you were, if you were a light tank player, jumping into a medium wasn't really logical. We've all had to do it. And actually I, I did it and I do quite enjoy mediums now, but had there been these lights originally, I would have carried on playing the light tech trees. But I think the tech trees are logical, they're good. The new tanks, I think, are excellent. They look amazing. But 
260,000 XP to get a tier 10 light tank. That is a lot of work. So I had a good look at my garage, I had a look at the tanks and I thought, well, I, I don't have any problems here. There's, there's perhaps a couple of light tanks that I might head towards, but I'm not in a hurry. 260 odd thousand XP is uncomfortable at the best of times. And of course, what also makes some of this a little bit uncomfortable is if you were heading for the T57 Heavy, or perhaps the French AMX 31er, or the AMX 30, then you might have to go back a few tanks, in some cases right back, especially for the T57, right back to tier 4 to the Stuart to change tech tree lines to get back on track to the tank that you wanted. And then Cosmic Chaos from Canada, thank you Cosmic, sent me this message. Tanks is broken. After the update, you can't see water any more at all it was your you what now i must admit i played the game and i didn't experience this but luckily cosmic sent me this footage and i think it's absolutely hilarious and i've never seen anything quite like this before Well, that was just bizarre, something I've never seen before. So what are your thoughts on update 4.2? Has it had a detrimental effect to your tanks and your tech tree progress? Do you welcome having 
the scout tanks at tier 10? Do let me know what you think and how it's affected you. I must admit what I do really like, and it was just a small note, was the new fire and smoke effects. I think they are absolutely superb. I was playing on the Arctic region and the way the fire from your engine is lit up in the smoke, I think actually looks quite spectacular and I really think it's a nice touch. Not too keen to see it on my own tanks. I do prefer to see it on the enemy tanks and other players. But anyway, it does look good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep safe, keep tanking, and I'll see you soon.